So there's something called summer in this school. This summer gives you a chance to write any course you feel done. If you are both 22, 2 years of age, admission, you will not be considered for admission. You can gain admission through JAM and through direct entry. Let's talk about network. The strongest network in the school is MTN, like cooking is allowed. You can cook in the school. This video is basically for fresher and aspirant, right? This video is going to be in two sections. The first section, I'll talk about all you need to know about um, this school concerning school fee, hostel, what you need to bring, what is allowed, what is not allowed, right? The second section is going to be um, jam cutoff mark. Screening, what you need for screening, the documents you have to bring by coming for screening. So let's dive into it. So the first section starts with what are the things you should know about IUO. IUO is one of the best universities in Nigeria. You know, I will tell you that and I will always say that we have best best and best 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 universities in nigeria yes in case you don't know Igbenedon university okada is nigeria first private university is that this school is a liberal school like muslim can come to this school christian can come to this school even if you are not a christian or Muslim, you can still come right there's a mosque in this school you know and there's the churches in this school like cooking is allowed you can cook in the school. So while you are coming, make sure you come with gas cooker, pot, and you can also buy food. There are cafeterias in the school, right? So, but yeah, you can buy, you can cook in your hostel. Is it that amazing? Private university? Are you kidding me? You don't do like that. Come with buckets while coming. Come with buckets for storing water because there's not always water in your hostel so with your power bank phone is allowed in the school and if you don't have one make sure you get one come with laptop obviously you will need your laptop if you don't need it in 100 level definitely you need it in 200 level right you need your laptop and make sure you come with your power bank come with extension when you're coming let's talk about hostel this school has one estate two campuses right so the estate is for um is for hostel foam and pillow are already provided by school so when when you're coming what you you have to come with you is call with um for your bed cover right and come with maybe something you can use to cover your body too maybe like wrapper or duvet whatever just come with it it it's better to buy it from home because things are, things are expensive here it tends to off you understand because they all believe that you guys are rich now you are a rich kid so you have to spend your money anyway hostel is okay they have good hostel there's boys that are boys to sell hostel and um girls hostel so, so there's something called summer in this school this summer gives you a chance to write any course you feel they help you to make up right it's where you can um rewrite whatever course you filled but it's not free another important thing to know about this school is that everything is money ego a a go is money you need don't commit a crime in this school if you commit any crime you are going to pay 50k if you resume late you will pay you will pay fine you get it now yes so let's talk about school fee you can they have payment plan where you pay 60 percent in first semester then you pay 40 percent in second semester right university has provided two payment options right you can pay online through the through your portal use right use your atm card or you can you can pay at the bank right so make sure you check the school website let's talk about network the strongest network in the school is mtn right glow and other um other network are not really really good in this school but yeah you can come with your mcn when you are coming so let's talk about religion like i said earlier in this video that this school is a liberal school if you're muslim you can come if you're christian you can come if you're whatever religion you're practicing you're welcome why right? if you are both 22 years of age admission you will not be considered 
for admission. You can gain admission through JAM and through direct entry. So I'm going to talk about this in the second section. What if you don't want to come with, um, you don't want to carry luggage while coming, you don't, there's a market in Haiyu, in the village, in the village where you can get things like maybe there's your duvet, whatever you want to buy is there, right? You can get all of those things in the school in case you don't want to come with anything and you're wondering if all you need to come with is money and the important document you need for your screening right and it also you can drive you can bring your ride your or if you're a fresher a hundred to the hundred level students you cannot drive until you get to 200 do you get it now dress code is also there's nothing special about their dress code in this school the only dress code they have is moderation you have to like dress decent right though uh, for medicine and surgery and other medical nursing all those things you have to like dress corporate law students white and black and your white has to be white there's nothing like um fashion white all this your baby white no it has to be plain white and then short skirt black short skirt is not allowed for um for law you're going to pay fine right it has to be moderate you understand so and also beside me your dress code is blue and black right red others your dress code is decent light is not 24 hours in this school what, what i mean is that in the morning like in the night there's light like the, you'll see light then before you go to hostel you see like i think around nine there was take the light off because they believe that all students should be in class by then so light is not 24 hours so it's advisable to come with your power bank when you are so welcome to the second section of the video let me know under the comment section if there's any school you want me to talk about you know understand just let me know under the comment section and say can a baby talk about this school right so this, let's talk about admission the screening process and stationaries right these are the things i'll be talking about in second section for an aspirant they have minimum five credits in your o-level results including english and mathematics two sitting is allowed awaiting result is allowed provided the um result will be held before the section begins right before the resumption do you get it now so awaiting result is so direct entry is allowed so what you do is make sure you get your um, you apply for direct entry form from jam do you understand so admission requirement general admission requirement entry um nd is allowed um bsc is allowed naptop is allowed a level is allowed see in your jam the general cutoff mark for jam is 180 once you have 180 in your jam you'll be eligible for screening the school does not write post and he you get it now if you are to study a competitive course like medicine law nursing you have to score above 180 your 180 is not your score because the admission is based on merit and quota given to them so if you are to study a competitive course in this school you have to like come with big brain and ready to like i'm ready for competition right so even your 100 level you are not studying medicine or whatever professional because they are studying yet until you get to 200 level so that is where you can confidently call yourself a medical student you understand so you have to especially medicine in this school is very very competitive and strict so make sure you come with a big brain school has seven colleges we there's a college art and social science College of Business and Management Studies, College of Law, College of Engineering, College of um, Engineering, College of Ed Sciences, College of Natural and Applied Sciences, and College of Pharmacy. Right. So I'll put the um, courses over on the screen. Feel free to pause it and check if the school over the course you want to study. I do put this because sometimes you might like to go to a particular school and. At the end of it, you realize that the school doesn't cover the course you want to study. It's very, very important to check if the school over the course you want to study. Let's talk about screening. Let's talk about screening. What you need to bring 
when you are coming for screening. You upload your documents, your WAHEC results, NECO results, whatever results you are using, make sure you upload it, right? And when you are coming, you come with your um, S certificate, you come with your BED certificate, and come with your um, JAM certificate, your JAM result, the original one, come with your WAHEC too, your um, O level certificate too, right? <laughs> I have to finish this video. Lights are gone. Lights are gone. So another important thing to know for direct entry candidates is you cannot study medicine, pharmacy, law, and the cool laboratory science. You cannot study any of these courses, right? So for other courses, yes, you can apply. Uh, if there's any other thing that I didn't touch in this video, if you are a student in this school already, please we we'll need you under the comment section. Put it under the comment section. Is there any other thing that we need to know about the school? Thanks for watching. And if you are not, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. My name is Kenny Promise, and I'll see you guys. I love you.